When you're working on tonight's homework, remember the importance of recognizing basic facts. So for example, 8 times 2 is like taking 8 2 times, and I know that's 16. So then later on, when I come over here to 20 times 8, well, I'm recognizing the 2 times the 8 again. That's a, the same fact I solved over here. The only difference is since that 2 is now a 20, it's 10 times bigger. So I know 2 times 8 is 16, but because it's times 10, I need to put my 0 at the end. So if you know one basic fact, you can use it to solve when you have it 10 times bigger by placing the 0 at the end to move it into the right place value. So for the second problem, Miss Kim bought eight boxes of crayons for her kindergartners. There were 24 crayons in each box. How many boxes are in all? So I'm picturing this box of crayons, but I know I have it eight times. So the multiplication equation that you have to write is saying there's 24 crayons in each box and eight times. So try writing that as a multiplication equation. Then you're going to use that to solve the problem. So if the equation is 24 times 8, you can use whatever strategy works best for you. But remember, multiplication is like finding area. It's like I have an array that's 8 by 24. And so I'm trying to find the space inside. If I don't know 8 times 24, I can also think of this as breaking apart the 24 as a 20 and a 4 so that I can multiply the 8 times the 20 and the 8 times the 4 because I have to share that 8 with both parts of the number. Then I can add up both boxes at the end. If you prefer to stack it and use another method, you're welcome to. So try your best and we'll go over it in class.